Hello, Martin Radnan here. My aim is to give you the opportunity to improve your skills in the use of Office productivity software so that you can offer greater skills to your employer. Proficiency in the use of Microsoft Office is one of the top three skills desired by employers, can position you as the most promising candidate to employers, and increase your productivity when delivering your responsibilities on the job. As can be seen here, I have now completed the four modules that comprise the ECDL Advanced course, that's the Level 3 course, and these playlists can be found on the Martin Radnan YouTube channel. These cover the Microsoft Office programs Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Access. All of these at advanced levels. By popular demand I've been asked to put together a more basic course. This course is based on the ECDL Level 2 and covers Word, Excel and PowerPoint. Mastering the concepts shown here are a prerequisite for the Level 3 Advanced course. OK, so let's start the basic Microsoft Word course. All videos in this series have been created to accompany the ICT4OCR.com forward slash ECDL website. So from your browser, head to it, and you'll find the lessons for each module along with the associated revision exercises. These resources can be used on their own as a standalone resource, or alternatively, you can download any of the files mentioned in the videos from the website. As an example, let's look at a random lesson, such as Lesson 8 from the Microsoft Word section. So, let's head for the lessons. Lesson 8 is the wedding letter. And here are the instructions. This is a mail merge task, and three files are required. The letter for editing, which can be downloaded from here or from here. The database that you will use, which can be downloaded from here or from here and the instruction sheet which is available from here or here. I did mention revision exercises so if we scroll up to the top let's go for Word, Home. Now all the lessons were available through clicking on this button. If we click on the word Diagnostics that will then give us six different exercises to do which will test our understanding once we've finished the Word module. OK, so let's start the first lesson. Within this first lesson, DT Letter, you will be given instructions to create a Word document in which you will practice basic word processing skills including the Options function within Word. By the end of the lesson, you will have created an accurately word processed document. Now, the whole point of this lesson is for you to work out to what level of competency you are currently working in Microsoft Word. After then, in subsequent videos, we will clear up any misunderstandings and introduce new exciting and useful features. OK, so let's launch Microsoft Word. We'll begin by looking at the Options section. So first, let's set up the document using File, Options. Anything we set in Options is stored in your profile. It won't need doing again unless your profile is deleted. So, 
in file options, first of all, make sure that your name is correct in the username section. Sometimes you'll find it puts in your login name instead, so if that is the case, correct it. Then, in the advanced section, find the part that says insert stroke paste pictures and change the drop down to square. Now, as you can see, I've already changed this. What this will do, it'll save constantly having to reset picture wrapping, which we'll come to in a later lesson. One final thing. While we're in File Options, find the default save location. So in Save, Default Local File Location, and then click the Browse button, and I would suggest at that point make a new folder, which I've already done, called Word Documents, and this will keep all your Word Documents together. Now, another good habit. Let's get into the routine of including your name in the header. To do this, the Insert tab, Header, Blank will do for the moment, now, what do we want to put in? We want to select from the Insert section, Quick Parts, Document Property, and Author. When we were in File Options, we specified what your name was, and now we have that in the header of your document. OK, that should do to begin with. Now let's get on to the main part of the lesson. From the supporting website, select the Word Lessons, Lesson 1. We've already looked through the first part of this lesson, and now you have been given two files. One of them you can get from here or here, which will be the example document to type up. And you also have access to the logo. As instructed, right click, save, and this is what the logo looks like. Now, if we look at the example document which has been provided in PDF format, your job is to recreate this letter in Microsoft Word as accurately as you are able. Now, you may well have some issues that make it difficult to achieve this. Typical examples are how to arrange for the address to be on the right side of the page, yet for the first letter of each line to be lined up vertically. Another issue may be replicating the font used for the words Tunes Splits the Atom. A third potential issue is placement of the logo and the flow of the words around it. OK, have a go and see how you do. Wishing you the best of luck, and I look forward to seeing you next time when we're going to be discussing the spacing of text. OK, I look forward to seeing you then.